When people look back in the 2000s of Nickelodeon, everybody would say that it would be it would be the the awesome golden age of of Nickelodeon or the silver age. As well as having their associated channels like and brands like Nick Jr., T-Nick, as well as Nicktoons Network and Nick Gas. Now now we need to talk about one of the one of the campaigns that Nickelodeon had done back in the two thousands, is it, and it was a request by Polar Media, which, which then again I know that making requests was very is 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 irritating, but but mm, normally I would I would say no, but mm, just this once. So let's talk about Nickelodeon's worldwide day of play. It will be it, um, the Worldwide Day of Play campaign w- was released on October second, two thousand four, and it's an annual event on the Nickelodeon cable channel designed to encourage children and parents to turn off the television and go out and play together, especially outdoors. The yearly event officially began on October second, two thousand four, and had been broadcasted on all Paramount-owned kid-aimed channels such as the main Nickelodeon channel, Nick Gas until 2007, Nick Jr. channel, and T-Nick, both formerly known as the Noggin channel, and the M, Nicktoons Network, and Nick Music. The event was designed as a finale for Nick's six-month-long Let's Just Play campaign. In addition... Nick.com would also have special features for children to learn how to stay healthy and active. Since the late 2000s, an international edition of the event has also been broadcast on its versions on in Germany, Brelix, Greece, Poland, and Russia. The, the latest event was held on September 30th, 2003, following a four-year hiatus. The, the purpose... The purpose, the purpose of this is the event encourages children to think about getting away from the television and being physically active. Schools and educational organizations have also been encouraged to host events around this theme. From 2004 to 2017, Nickelodeon suspended programming on Worldwide Day of Play across all of its TV channels. Let, which are which were the following: the main Nickelodeon channel, Nick Jr., Nicktoons Network, and T Nick, and websites from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Pacific, where Gridless have this listed as off air or worldwide day of play, urging kids to get up, go outside, and play. According to Viacom, the owner of the Nickelodeon networks. Millions of children and adults are expected to participate in thousands of events in dozens of countries. When the Let's Just Play campaign ended in September, Nickelodeon aired the finale during the last Saturday of September, the Worldwide Day of Play. Nickelodeon and its sister channel suspend programming for three hours from noon to 3 p.m. During the time, there was no programming. A special message would appear on screen. There, there was no Let's Just Play campaign in 2008, though the, the Day of Play was held that year. Nickelodeon's 15th Worldwide Day of Play took place on September 29, 2018, but the Nick Networks no longer used the off-air screens. The 2019 event was the last event to be held until 2023. New episodes of Nickelodeon's series. After Nickelodeon resumes airing, they would usually air marathons and premieres of Teen Nick series or SpongeBob SquarePants. In 2008, SpongeBob SquarePants alongside Just Jordan, Tack, Zoe 101, iCarly, and Back at the Barnyard had new episodes. Following in 2008 was the season premiere of iCarly and the finale of my family's got guts. Following in 2009 and 2010, respectively, iCarly, True Jackson v- VP, and Big Time Rush had new episodes, with the inclusion of Nickelodeon's rebrand. 
Later, follow in 2011, new episodes of iCarly, Big Time Rush, and Super Ninjas aired. In 2012, before the Worldwide Day of Play began, new episodes of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 and Kung Fu Panda, Legends of Awesomeness, aired as well, with an hour, or, uh, well, with an hour, or long se- season premiere of iCarly later that night with a sneak peek of c Dab Run following iCarly. For 2013, new episodes of Sanji and Craig and Rabbit's Invasion aired prior to the event. While premieres of Sam and Cat and the Haunted Hathaways were, were shown that evening, in 2014, new episodes of Sanji and Craig Breadwinners were, sh- were shown prior to the event. While new episodes of the Haunted Hathaways, Henry Danger, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn... The Fundamentals and Awesomeness TV were shown in the evening. In 2015, new episodes of Henry Danger, The Game Shakers, and 100, Th- 100 Things to Do Before High School had aired that evening. In 2016, season premieres of Henry Danger and Game Shakers and School of Rock had aired that evening. In 2017, new episodes of Henry Danger and Game Shakers had aired that evening. In 2018, a new episode of Henry Danger aired that evening. Then, in 2019, part two of the two-part last season premiere of Henry Danger and a revival all that aired that evening. There were appearances. Special appearances were arranged for the Worldwide Day of Play. Guests have included the first Lady Michelle Obama. Some of the guests were included in of its cast on the original Nickelodeon shows, such as Power Rangers Samurai, Big Time Rush, and Nick Jr.'s musical show, The Fresh Beat Band, made an appearance. Now, now once again, the latest the latest event was held on September thirtieth. 2023 following a four year hiatus so that's about it now I, I really I really um, though I I remember looking at that program and, and remember that Noggin was off was off the air for some time for three hours though this made everybody very cross and very pissed at this point because everyone wants to watch Nick Jr. and Nickelodeon and T Nick and Nick Tunes. No, they don't want to go out and play. Not all people doesn't want to go outside and play as, as they as they just want to watch some TV. But, but the Worldwide Day of Play encourages you to go out and play. <sighs> I remember when Noggin had this type of um campaign. Which is which is where you had to where you had to go out and play and, and exercise and it's very healthy, so I had to go out so so I personally had to agree that you had to go outside and and go out and play so so you were able to 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 stay healthy for and make sure to eat fruits and vegetables at this point in order to stay healthy too. But then again, but then. Then again, nobody didn't like this. But we do see some new episodes on Nickelodeon series, like 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 the like the things that I just listed. Like uh, like like the failed awesomeness TV that was created by Brian Robbins, alongside Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Don, Game Shakers, A Hundred Things to Do Before High School, Big Time Rush, True Jackson, VP, iCarly. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness as well as seeing a sneak peek of See Dad Run. Now, yeah, seriously, I finally remember the Worldwide Day Apply campaign very well. And I'm sure many of y'all remembered it too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you, what, um, what's your opinion on Nickelodeon's Worldwide Day of Play? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know what you let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, 
stay tuned.